So we're zero and one in our provisional games. Unacceptable! What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Twigger, that of course is Lola, and we have got game number two of my provisional series here, playing as Kennen in the mid lane. Now, we did lose that Thresh game, which of course sucks, We it was a long game, it was a hard fought game, I'm not unhappy that we lost because, you know, we, we, we came back, we had a really, really solid game, and now the funny thing is, I really, really wanted to play Lux, really badly. The, but they picked Lux as their support. Support of all things. <laughs> okay. So there's a decent amount of damage there onto the uh, the Kogma. So we're playing Kennen. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be Lux mid. Um, it is, in fact, the Galio mid, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but Kennen does pretty decently against melee champions in the mid lane. Um, Kennen's just kind of one of my pocket picks. Um, I really, really like Kennen, and I think Kennen is really safe. Um, fairly easy to farm with Kennen. Um, also provides just a lot of overall utility and also damage for your team. Um, and especially when I was just looking at our team comp. So let's go over that first. We've got Anar in the top lane versus the Kled. We've got Wukong in the jungle versus their Kha'Zix. Then we've got Galio in the mid lane versus my Kennen. And then, of course, we've got uh, Shen Vane versus the Kog'Maw Lux. So, I kind of looked at, like, the Wukong and the Gnar, and I figured that Kennen, we've got such an amazing wombo combo here. Like, I mean, like, a crazy good wombo combo. Actually, fuck, I should have probably got my W. That was dumb of me. Okay, well, no fighting until level 3, I guess. Um, our wombo combo is just so good. So, in team fights, if Gnar gets, like, a really solid um, ultimate off... Man, we could just absolutely annihilate their team with damage. Um, and I think that's going to be the whole purpose, is just trying to get into that Kogma and make sure that he dies. Um, so in terms of Kennen, I am, of course, running the Sorcery Tree. Um, I've got the Meteor, which I enjoy. I just think it's nice little... A little bit of chunk damage, which I always think is a pretty good thing. Um... But then we also went for, of course, Cosmic Insight because we do build quite a bit of cooldown reduction. And then, um, of course, the Stopwatch. Because it's the Stopwatch. And it's League of Stopwatch. Why would you ever get anything other than Stopwatch? On any champion ever in the game. Man, my hands are actually really cold, which is kind of annoying. Ugh! I should probably close the balcony door. That might be why. You know, we could help ourselves, but... Oh, baby. That was some trade damage. And Wukong picking up the first blood against the Kha'Zix in his own jungle. That is a beautiful thing. Not expecting that one. So all I'm trying to do here is get a little bit of poke off onto the Galio. Um, of course, I do have that advantage because I'm ranged. And he is melee. Okay. Not going to lose any of these, I don't think. Okay, I don't know where the Galio is. He's at 22, I'm at 29. So overall, the CSing is going pretty well. I think that's all we're trying to do right now is just uh, get some solid last hits going, get our monies. I think I'm just going to push this one up because... I think I want to... Oh, there he is. Okay. Less than ideal, less than ideal, less than ideal. Oh, crap, that wasn't good. Oh, Wukong, why were you in there too, buddy? Okay. <laughs> he got executed. Oh, okay, we got the Galio at least. What the fuck happened there? That was incredibly awkward. Um, Nara, you've got your, your TP, eh, buddy? Like, you could, you could pop in here. 
Maybe. Have a little bit of a fun time. Would you like that? Would you like that, Nar? I always hate it when everybody's TPing down to a fight and then the one person doesn't use their TP, right? It's like, yeah. Like, I, I, I get it that you're gonna, like, push the lane and he's gonna miss some minions. That's, that's fair. Like, he's gonna miss a pretty big wave there. And I guess he's more pushing for level 6. But I feel like if maybe the Nar joined there when I was joining in, then maybe we would have had a better time with that fight. But, you know, what can you do? Okay. So, I just want to hit level 6. That's the main thing. There we go. Now I'm level 6. Now I'm feeling pretty. Okay. Just trying to think. Oh, God! Twigger, come on! I would say that you're better than this, but really, I don't think you are. <laughs> it was just... It was right in front of you. One auto attack. Okay, so Galio is good and pushed up. Um, Wukong is coming. I do have my ulti. I've got my stopwatch. I would love it if Wukong came to gank this Galio. I don't know if he has flash, though. That's the problem. Oh, Kha'Zix is right there, too. That was a good solid miss of my Q. I love it, love it, love it. I think I'm also going to try to roam a little bit here. Because Kennen is such a great roamer. Okay, I think Galio is just kind of going to support the Kha'Zix. I think he thinks that the Wukong is still planning on invading there. But luckily, the Wukong just kind of backed off. Oh, that ain't good. Shen be dead. Shen's dead. Uh, crap. Okay. They might be doing Dragon, to be honest. No, never mind. I have no idea where this Galio went. Oh crap, that's first turret blood. Did Galio AFK or something? It kind of seems like that might be the case. I'm not complaining if he did. You know, I'm beggars can't be choosers, man. This is ranked. These are the placement matches. <laughs> Dad, Daddy needs to win one. That would be really nice. Well, that, was, that was weird. Okay. I'm going to go B. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go B right now, just because I can, and I'm gonna pick up these boots, and I'm also gonna try to pick... Uh, I don't have enough. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. I'll take it. Um, okay. Um, Galio. Okay, never mind. He's not actually going. Okay. Let's get back into this. I really want my TP to be back up, because I really want to roam. I am still really waiting for a gank. Eh. So it looks like Wukong was pinging mid. I do have my ultimate. I do have my flash. I also have my TP though. Oh, he's not gonna get her. Are you serious? Oh man, that is so not good. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Wukong. Come on. Make Mama proud. 
Make me proud, baby. We're not even gonna fucking get him. Oh, that's so aggravating that he still had flash. Well, what can you do, right? So Kogma flashed. If I just got my damn W off on him. Okay, got my assist. That's all I care about. We did lose the turret though, unfortunately. Oh god. Whew, that was scary. Okay, I gotta get back down here. Things are going off. Things are popping off. I'm coming, Nar baby. I'm not I'm not coming, Nar baby. <laughs> Woo, okay, so eight to four the current score. One one and two is my score. Still beating the Galileo by a good amount in terms of CS. So I guess I can't complain about that. Um, I did get that assist on the Kazix. The problem is with that roam, um, I lost my turret, which is of course less than ideal. And now it becomes even more risky for me to be up here. Okay, <laughs> just gonna, just, you know, CSing is for the weak, you know? If you have to rely on CS to get your money, then you're just bad players, you know? You know, bad players. Yeah, you better run. That's our Scuttle Crab. That's our Scuttle Crab! Okay, so Galio was kind of moving up. Um, doesn't look like they're going to be going for anything else. Shen died again, man. 0-4. Oh, man. It's a 1-6 bot lane at 12 minutes. That's That sucks. Then again, like, we do have a Vayne, which is at least a good thing. Like, Vayne can hyper carry pretty damn well. The problem is, she's up against a Kog'Maw, which can also hyper carry really well. Yeah, we can't really go in. There's... See, I do a... Man, I do a lot of damage. Huh. Of course the fucking Lux is doing well. Okay. I got a kill, which, you know, it's a thing. Okay. We really just have to like hold on for dear life here. That's that's more the thing that we're getting at. We got a kill onto the Lux, which is good because I think that gave us a shutdown bonus, which is very much needed. You know what? I'm actually gonna just take this last wave. Not really a point in me not clearing this out. Huh. Okay, so got a kill on the Lux. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the Galio, but the Galio did at least flash. So you know. We got something out of that. We now have our Hextech Proto Belt. That's a good thing as well. And now we're going to have to look for the Zonia's Hourglass because that's it's kind of the thing with Kennen. It's kind of like Morgana in a sense that when you jump in, you're going to put yourself in a really precarious situation because you're in the middle of the entire enemy team and they could just pop you instantly because right now I'm not tanky in the slightest. So getting that little bit of tankiness from the Zonia's but then also just being able to pop my ultimate and then pop Zonia's and survive... Okay, I'll take it. Oh god, I didn't get him.
We can't fight this, buddy. Why would you? Oh my god, did he make it? You fucking hero. Hero. What the fuck kind of a play was that? Jesus. That was actually epic. That was so sick. I was like, wow, you're just basically like giving yourself up. Little did I know that Shen with the 600 IQ play. Ugh. Okay, I am fucking scared of that Lux now, man. I wanted to play Lux. <laughs> Why did she pick Lux? That was my pick. Okay. So unfortunately the Shen got the kill on the uh the Kazix. I was really hoping that I was going to get that. Especially because Shen got shut down pretty hard. Okay. Okay, we did manage to trade it. I'll, t I'll take that. I'll take, you know, I, I can't, I would have liked for better, but, you know, we baited him back in. The Shen got another kill. That's going to get him a little bit more into this game. I got another kill and an assist, so I'm 3-2-4. and four. I'm not feeling too bad, in all honesty. I think right now it's more just a team effort that we're more worried about. Definitely need more coffee, because I am cold, and it is the morning, and I've only had one coffee. So, I'm basically dying. Um, let's look for the Seeker's Arm Guard. It gives me a little bit of armor against that Kha'Zix. I think, really, we've just got to wait for the right engage. I think, like, when you look at our team comps, um, we're the team fighting team. Um, like, we, we need those 5v5s to happen. Because um, I think that that's where we're really going to shine. I didn't use my Proto Belt. I wonder if maybe I used my Proto Belt, we would have had enough to kill that Kha'Zix before I died. I'm not sure. But, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda, but we didn't. So, oh god, there they are. Oh god, guys, come on. Man, we're just getting... Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. We got his TP. That's good. Okay. Kazix tried to get in there. Somebody's got to go and deal with that uh, that lovely little cled. Oh, people! You gotta work with me, team! There's only so much I can do! Like the Mountain Drake's up, but Wukong's pretty low. So I don't think we're actually gonna- Oh, God! Damn it! That was so dumb. The moment that I saw that freaking thing go off, I should've just run away. I didn't think that he was gonna be able to get me. Mm. Okay, that was a dumb mistake on my part. Should have just bead underneath the turret. I think I, that, that's always like the the key mistake that people make is just being in bad locations, and you never realize it until you get killed. But yeah, I should have just wa I literally five steps towards my turret, and I would have been safe. But instead, I bead right next to the fog of war, and I just ended up dying. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? We've got the Zoni's Hourglass. That's a really good thing to have. Um, we could go for the Banshee's Veil, which would be good, but I feel like I just need to go for the Void Staff to go for just, like, all-out damage at this point. Because I feel like my job right now is to kill that Kogma. It's gonna be like the Kogma, the Lux, if I can just, like, use my E to get right into that back line. Like, Flash, E, Ulti.
Okay. Okay. Should be able to get out of that one. Okay, so that was a two for one. I like it. Oh, come on, Nar. Oh, I don't want to be too aggro. Fuck. Shit, I still got pushed in. Damn it. And I didn't have enough fucking energy. Oh, man. Damn it. I think we overstayed, maybe. What did we do wrong there? Maybe we should have saved enough energy for the lightning rush to get away from that Kled. This could be good. Oh, nice taunt, nice taunt, nice taunt, nice taunt. Fucking Wukong got hit by a goddamn Lux Q. Everybody's getting hit by Lux Qs. <laughs> like, that's the only thing that's going to interrupt our engage. I don't know why I bought this potion. Um, Because I would have had enough to actually get my... My blasting one. I'm doing tons of damage. That's the thing. Like, I'm doing my part of killing the Kog'Maw. The problem is this Kled is so damn strong. And the Galio is really strong. And the Lux is really strong. So we just have nothing to really carry us after... Even, like, after the Kog'Maw's dead, they still seem to have enough damage. Like, I'm wondering if maybe, like, late... I think later in the game, we, we could have this. But, like, man, I just feel like these fights are not going our way. Okay, Vayne might die. Oh, that was a good condemn. Nope, Vayne's dead. And Wukong is not even going to be able to chase him down. So that was just a free fucking kill. Oh, man. Shit like that. Oh, God. That taunt destroyed me. Okay, now I'm playing like an idiot. I gotta stop going in like that. That Galio taunt just fucked me right on over, so I couldn't actually get in to get the stun onto the Kog'Maw. I think they have this warded. Yeah, they probably knew that I was coming in, so they just... He was prepared. He was prepared and lying wait. Crap. So he goes in. Why are you... Why are you... Why? What? What? Why would you even walk through that way? <laughs> okay. We ha we don't have a single turret yet, man. Like <laughs> Oh. No. Fuck, I have like 15 seconds on my ulti. Two, one, come on. Oh, come on. She got the Nar too. I even had my Zonias. I was trying to click it, but I just could get the Lux. Get the Lux, please, Wukong. You've got your ultimate. Why did you use your ultimate when you ran the Q? Just run, just run, please, just run, please. No more people have to die. Oh, man. This is a brutal game. Just a brutal game. What do we have to do? So I think Nar is going for the Sterix gauge, it looks like. Oh, no, Frozen Mallet. That's it. That's the one. Okay. So, yeah, I guess if Wukong and Nar start building a little bit tanky... Like, maybe we'll stand a bit more of a chance, but fuck, like, I just don't know what to do. I've got my TP up. My ultimate's up in six. Oh, man. Is the Kled being somewhere stupid? Come on, please be being somewhere. Nope, you're not. Well, he was, but I'm not fucking going near that guy. That guy's strong as hell. Okay, so what do we have to do here? I think we gotta wait for the team fights. Because the team fights aren't going, like, too badly. We're just, we are not winning them. Um, Mountain Drake is now up.
Ow. Okay, we do. St <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I guess Lola heard something scary. <laughs> guess there's something in the hallway. Oh God, people! No, 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 no. I think I've got to, I've got to go B or something, man, right? Oh, there's his Zonias. I'm sorry, guys, but I've got to go B. I've got to go B. Okay. Please let me go. Please let me go. So once again, I got in. I got the Kog'Maw. I think I got his Flash and his Heal. Which is pretty damn good, if you ask me. I'm back to full health, guys. God, we just can't stop them. Shit. Ah! <laughs> come on, guys. Let's pick up some of these kills. We got an assist for that one. That's good. Oh, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Mountain Drake is alive, guys, just in case you want to go and take that. I would definitely recommend taking it. Okay, so overall that wasn't... Oh, man, it wasn't good, though. Oh, and they got the Mountain Drake, too. Man, we have no pressure at all, it seems. I'm trying to think of how we want to deal with this. Like, I'm not doing seemingly any damage to the Galio. The Galio is huge. 11-3 and 13. I can kill the Kog'Maw. Lux is huge at 11-2 and 17. I could probably kill her. Like, I'm trying to get Lux and Kog'Ma in the same grouping for when I ult. Like, I feel like right now Kog'Ma is not that strong, so I think we've got to just focus on other people then. But the problem is, man, you fucking leave a Kog'Ma up for, like, 10 seconds in a team fight, and he's just gonna rinse you. Right? So we can't leave him up, but we gotta deal with the Kha'Zix, we gotta deal with the Kled. I don't even know how we deal with the Kled right now. I think we need to, it's like one of those things that I feel like we just need to hit that wombo combo that we've been waiting for all game. Okay, there's a ward right there. Well, Kog'Maw clearly does something. He took those raptors pretty freaking quick. Okay. Slowly but surely, that was a good fight. Good fight. Oh, nice condemn. Oh my god, just live, just live, just live. Crap, I don't know where the Kha'Zix is, though. Oh my god, I don't know where the Kha'Zix is. Oh god, he's right there. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Um, We got a Baron or something, right? Got TP. And we've got a vein, so we should just, like, we should really just push for that, I think. Um, let's just do... Okay, we got this. Are we gonna just do Baron? Yeah, because we got Meganar as well. Like, this is definitely... This is the right call. I do have my ultimate just in case. Oh, God. Fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Don't fucking go in or anything. They have a- they have smite. Like, just back. Get wards down. Oh, man. Okay. I <laughs> should not have listened to Kenan. <laughs> it's true, man. You shouldn't listen to me. The problem is, like, one of the things that you have to do is you just have to... 
you have to make calls and you have to stick to them, right? It was the right idea to go for Baron because we had the ultimates up. The problem was Lux ult just fucking rinsed our jungler, so we can't do anything after that. And then they just happened to be closer than we were expecting. Um, like, it's a it was a bad call. I'll, I'll grant it that. You gotta be able to fess up to your mistakes, but... I'm glad that people at least followed the call. Um, okay. So they have Baron buff, but once again, we've got a pretty big wombo combo. Okay. Cleds here. This should be good, though. Okay, he canceled. Whew, okay. Good fight. Good fight, team. That was actually sweet. So we managed to get, what, two of their barons down? And now we should have a little bit to maybe push this. Okay, time to go B. So that was pretty good. Um, please let me go, please let me go, please let me go, please let me go. Thank you. Okay. So unfortunately, I used my flash during that fight. I really wish that I had it back up. Because flash on cannon is just so damn important. Once again, man, this is a good game. I love games like this. I never like it when it's just like a full-on raffle stomp. Like, don't get me wrong. Would I love to have a raffle stomp for one of my placement games? Absolutely. freaking lutely But you never learn anything from a raffle stomp, right? It's fun, sure, but I like the games where you really have to, like, try. You have to make good calls. Like, those are how you learn how to be better at the game. Oh, one more! One more! Nice! Oh, that was such a perfectly fucking timed Galio stun. He's so good at those taunts. Just run, just run, please, just run. Oh my god. It's a two for one. Let's just leave it at a two for one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, that Kazix had his jump back up. I thought I was going to be able to get him, but he jumped away, which is so aggravating. Oh god. We did get his Guardian Angel, which is something, but man, we're just getting, we're getting pushed absolutely from everywhere. Which I'm just like, I don't know how the hell we deal with it. I feel like I gotta sell this and let's get more AP. I'm just sitting there looking at my Doran's blade and it's just not doing enough for me right now. It's, is somebody gonna go down and deal with this? Like, we're just kinda, it's kinda letting him push. Like, we're getting, oh man, we're getting fucking pushed from everywhere. Oh, please live. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, mighty in heaven. Oh, please. Whew. Okay, double kill for the vein. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's something. Like, right now, we just fucking need anything. Like, anything that we can get is great. Just icing on top. But now we have two inhibs down. The middle inhib should uh, be up pretty soon, I think. But they just got another mountain drake. They've got four drakes. Three of them are mountains! Oh. <laughs> That's so much tower pushing ability. Okay, I'm gonna grab one more. You still gotta grab control wards, man. Even if in these like later portions of the game. I'm gonna put it right here because they are gonna be gunning for that top inhibitor. But, man. We're not out of it yet, but man, it is uh, an uphill battle. So we just gotta... Oh, okay. Um, don't push out too far. Like, we have, to, we have to stay together. Like, that's the problem. Like, we have an insane wombo combo, but we need to hit that wombo combo is the problem. Okay, mid inhib is coming up soon, so we should probably be grouping towards this top side, I would feel. Oh god. 
Okay. We heard the Kazakhs. Oh, God! Holy shit! Okay, well, that's Galio ult. To be honest, that's a good thing that they don't have. Okay. It's a partial victory, I guess. Oh, God. There it is. There it is, baby. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, that was what a qu oh, Come on. How much did that ignite? 390? Come on! Man, that was a quadra kill for me. Technically, it was a double kill followed by a double kill. But that was exactly what we needed. Like, it's fight like fights like those. By the way, Baron's up and four people are dead. I'm just saying, I'm not going to make the call because people didn't like my call the last time. But Baron is up in, like, ten seconds and we have four people up and they have four people dead. But Lux is up in two. I don't think we can do it, unfortunately. My TP is up, so maybe we got to, like, ward Baron TP up. Um, man, okay. So that's exactly what we needed to do. I got a really, really good stun onto both the Kog'Ma and the Lux. Killed the Kog'Ma. Managed to dodge the Lux ulti and combo um, with my Zonia's Hourglass. Um, I'm trying to think here. What the hell do we want to do? Like, what do we build? The Galio is, like, everybody's big. There's a lot of magic resistance coming out of Galio and the Kled. So I could go for, like, a Leandries, but I feel like I just want to go for a Rabidons just to try to blow them up. Let's do that, you know? We've got the, like, the thing is I don't want to build any more, like, tank. Oh, why didn't we have that? We just warded it now? We had so many people. Oh, I didn't have enough to kill the... Get the Kogma one more shot! Okay, at least he died, but that's going to be the fucking end of the game. Why did we wait so long to ward the fucking Baron? I even said to ward the damn Baron. Ah, GG well played. Man. That's just so unfortunate. It was a good game, though, you know? We did what we could. Unfortunately, the team just got way too far ahead and... Could not do anything against that. But overall, still a very fun game. Very well-earned win for that enemy team. So we're 0 win 2 in our promos. Hopefully, we can find some wins in some later portions of the game. But hopefully, you all enjoyed that Ken and Mid rank game. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next placement game.